motherfucker. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Well, you guys asked, and Blue Dream shall deliver. Last week, we did a video where I reacted to some of the hottest takes you've ever heard in DBD history. And uh, you asked, and here we go. So we're going to go ahead with episode two of the hottest DBD takes. And I'm going to give my honest opinion. I, I, I told you. I told you. I got a lot in the vault here. I got I got many, many DBD hot takes, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna dive into this one. Get ready, cause uh, oh boy, oh boy. So here we go, coming out the gates, super hot. Uh, we got this one, which was part of the Facebook forums, and this one says. We all know how easy to play Survivor is, but we can't deny the FACT that Killer is way more easier. So I don't get why someone would build something like this as a Killer. It's so easy to find Survivors, but you still need Lethal Pursuer. Then you have three Gen perks because you literally can't handle Gens. Welp. Really looks like a skill issue. Anybody can play no perks as killers, so I don't get the need of using these. Oh, oh man. Okay, like where do I even begin? Where do I even begin? I think saying that killer is easier than survivor hurts me physically, emotionally, and spiritually. <laughs> like, I, I honestly think that survivor is like, the easiest role in like any game <laughs> like like any game that i've ever played other than like like a child's game or something like it, it is really easy to play survivor but it is not hard or it is not easy to play a lot of killers i think like skull merchant is pretty easy there's a lot of killers that are like easier to play but in no way shape or form is killer easier than Survivor. They're also like shaming them for Lethal Pursuer. Lethal Pursuer is just a good perk. Like it's a good perk in general, especially considering a lot of Survivors will just hide in the beginning. Um, so having that strong start can, can really help. And then they say anybody can play no perks as killer. Okay, so do it. Like, so do it. It's it's really not easy. Like, if you're playing a weaker killer, you got no perks. Yeah, you're you're gonna have a bad time. Let me tell you, man. Okay, now we got another really hot, piping, fresh out the oven, just, just steaming take here. Um, this is also from the Facebook forums. Uh, we got anti-camp. Now can we get anti-tunnel? Like, what do, like, what do, what do I even, what do we even, like, that... That just hurts. Like, 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 that just hurts, man. So there is a lot, like a lot of anti-tunnel stuff in DBD. And let's just, let's just go through the list. So the first one, first and foremost, obviously is Decisive Strike. We have Off the Record. We have For the People is actually, can be used as a really good anti-tunnel. Uh, for the people, buckle up, but even just for the people, like, if you unhook a survivor and then immediately FTP them, like, they're gonna be healthy and the killer's gonna be, like, forced to trade or go for, you, you know what I mean? FTP is a really good anti-tunnel, uh, syringes can be used as anti-tunnel, styptics can be used to, like, negate tunneling. Yeah, I, I don't know, man, like, <laughs> like, that is so crazy. I'm assuming they want, like, a base kit anti-tunnel, but even, like, um, like, base kit BT, like, that's kind of anti-tunnel, right? Like, you get, like, a solid 10 seconds of, of endurance off the hook, and that, that is meant to negate, uh, like, tunneling directly off of hook. Oh, God, it's just, <laughs> it hurts, man, it hurts. All right, let's... Let's move on, shall we? And here we go, just another hot piping take. 
uh, from the Facebook forums. I understand he was a baby doctor, but he tried to camp a hook at Endgame Collapse. He didn't camp all match. What's the point in running Noed if you're just going to camp to secure a kill? Some of y'all clearly need to be douches to feel better. I'm genuinely curious why killers do it. As I don't play killer, okay, that's that's obvious. <laughs> Take your tampons and shove them up your holes. I don't like, oh man, it really hurts my soul when survivors ask why a killer camps in the end game. There's literally nothing else to do. And there there was there was one in the last video that we did where a survivor was saying something like this. If if all the generators are done and you have a survivor on the hook, there is literally nothing left to do other than defend that hook. You should expect a killer to camp that hook every single time, even directly face camping. That's why the anti-camp is turned off in in once the generators are done is because there's nothing left to do the de the developers recognize this and that's why the anti-camp is turned off and then he says what's the point in running noed if you're just going to camp to secure a kill that's typically what any noed user will do is use noed to help them camp to secure a kill i i, I oh my god i don't understand some of y'all clearly need to be douches to feel better. Man, it's like people are just trying to win, man. I, I don't know why survivors have to, like, take it so personally. And, you know, it, it, it's it's funny because, like, I there's just not too many really bad killer takes. I think we have a few, but, like, oh my god, man. It's all just survivors. Okay, here's another one that was sent to me. Uh... I feel like everyone should main Survivor first so there's a mutual understand as to why camping and tunneling is so annoying. I'm not saying you can't do these things, uh, but it does become frustrating when you can't even play the game because a killer won't let you off hook. I, I see where they're coming from. My opinion on this is that people should just play both fucking sides. People really need to just play both sides. I understand that camping and tunneling is annoying, of course, you know? Like, like losing in any game is annoying. There's many facets of a, of a PvP game that can be annoying. In Dead by Daylight, so many people only play one side, so there's these, like, massive, like, biases um, of opinions that come in the game, and it's like, you know, survivors don't understand that camping and tunneling is just a part of killer. It's just something that you have to do as a killer. Quite often, they're normal strategies, um, and a lot of killers don't understand that, like, you know, survivors are gonna gen rush, survivors are gonna body block, survivors are gonna do anything to survive as well. It's, it's, I, I, I see where they're coming from, but it's, it's, Really, we need to expand on that. People should just play both sides. People should just play both sides so that they can understand both sides. And and honestly, if you do play both sides, it really broadens the game and it, it really opens up the game for you. There's so many killers. There's so many perks for Survivor. Like, it's it, 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 it really makes you a healthier player overall if you just play both sides. Uh, th this person just asked, what is tunneling and teabagging? Now, I understand, like, that somebody might be confused as to what tunneling is, but teabagging? Really? <laughs> like, I, I know that's not really a hot take, but, like, I just, I found that funny. Like, you don't know what teabagging is? Bro, like, <laughs> teabagging has been a thing for so long. That's so crazy to me. That's so crazy. No, no flame. Like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just found that crazy. Like, you don't know what teabagging is? Like, come on, man. Oh, this person just shared this. POV, me and the homies playing DVD IRL. That was just, that. that's just kind of scary. I don't know. It's not really a hot take as well, but I, I, I just found that funny. That's, that's really scary. That's really scary. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that, please. Oh, this one, this one really made me laugh. I main Meg as Survivor, and I just don't understand. When is she going to- when is she gonna get some new outfits? It's like they threw her together. So, Meg actually is tied for the most cosmetics in Dead by Daylight. 
Um, she has so many outfits in the game. I think she has the most right now. I think she actually has the most. Meg is one of the most popular survivors to play. She's one of the original survivors. Um, so she actually has like the most <laughs> outfits in the entire game. And it's, <laughs> it's like, when are we going to get some new outfit? <laughs> like, come on, man. Come on. What about some outfits for my boy, Jake? Oh, this is, this one's pretty wild. I can understand why a lot of people don't like the twins. I just did a match playing against the twin and it did nothing but use Victor the whole time. The twins is one of my main K, but when I play as them, I rarely use Victor. What are your thoughts on the twins? Oh man. So if you're playing twins, you should be using Victor as much as humanly possible. Um, Victor is, after all, the power of the twins. Like Charlotte, you know, she can M1, she can pick up and hook, of course. But Victor is the, the real oppressive factor of of the twins so if you're not using victor as much like if you're using charlotte more often that's i, I you're not really playing twins the best um Lynxy is is a, a really good twins player and and almost all the time she is uh <laughs> like playing as victor right it's like i don't know like you you if you can get an injure state as charlotte like yeah that's good you know like you want to you know you if, if the opportunity's there, for sure. But you don't just want to be, like, blindly chasing all the time as Charlotte. You want to be using Victor more so than you're using Charlotte, right? Uh, here's another one. Why is the Wraith even a killer in this game? Nobody likes the Wraith anyway. He's nothing but an invisible cheater? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, an, an invisible cheater. Wraith is so mid- in dbd like if as long as you have comms or like like even if you're a duo it's like wraith is you know you make call outs like okay he came over here okay he's leaving like wraith and you can see it like he's invisible but you can see him like almost clear as day it's really easy to see wraith running around invisible right like he's hardly invisible <laughs> but he's a cheater he's an invisible cheater and then they got the moaning emoji, eye roll, face palm, and the 100 emoji. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean, dude? Like, oh, that's 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 brutal, man. That's <laughs> that's fucking brutal, dude. <laughs> Here's another one, and I just I wanted to end on this one. Nothing in game moves me. Do you, honey? In brackets. But with that being said. Some has a real issue with tunneling. So here's a tip. Picture it DBD 2024. Every survivor in match has Boon Exponential in their permanent build. So a base kit exponential, I guess. There's four totems in every trial giving infinite life. Pass it along until it spreads like wildfire. I mean, if it's any concern of yours, that is. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I, I, I find it funny because he's really trying to like rally the survivors. Like, picture it, DBD 24, base kit exponential for everybody. <laughs> they actually were at one point going to make it so survivors had base kit uh, unbreakable, um, so survivors could pick themselves up, uh, infinitely. Um, they went back on this. They went back on this because they did a PTB and it was terrible. It was a terrible idea. It, it, it gave killers who needed to slug, and there are a lot of killers that need to slug, uh, Oni twins, and it was, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was a terrible idea. So they went, they, they didn't go through with it. We don't have base kit unbreakable base kit ex exponential would be even worse <laughs> because you pick yourself up faster and i'm assuming he would not want killers to have base kit shattered hope where you break totems when you kick a boon 
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like to see DVD Hot Takes Episode 3, be sure to comment under the video. Episode 3, please be sure to check out the Twitch channel. We go live four or five times a day, starting right now, usually around 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you all, and I will see you next week.